Two of my most popular videos here on YouTube are my videos about Discord reaction roles and how to set them up with a couple of different bots. But Discord has come out with a brand new feature called onboarding that is going to replace Discord reaction roles almost completely. I would say 99% of Discord servers out there are eventually going to switch over to this new feature. So the quicker that you get it set up in your Discord server, the better off you're going to be, especially because it's way easier to use and it's a lot more professional looking as well as it makes it much easier for new members to join your server and to get the right roles that they need. So in this video, I'm going to show you Discord onboarding, how it works, why you need it in your server and how it will replace your Discord reaction roles. Now, before we jump into this revolutionary new feature for Discord, I do want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, which is one of the greatest places to get graphics for your Discord server or for your stream or YouTube channel or whatever it is that you've got going on, and that is Placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. Thank you so much to place it for sponsoring this video, guys. Make sure you check out the link in the description to save that 15% off and get your graphics set up today. Now, with that being said, let's dive in and take a look at Discord onboarding and what this new feature is all about. Uh, we're gonna come over here to my Discord server called The Flock, and this is uh, basically the community from here on YouTube and Twitch and everywhere else. If you guys would like to join discord.gg slash flock, we would love to have you in the community with us. And you can also see this new feature in action because I've set up onboarding so every new member will actually be able to go through and see it in uh, in real time, how it works, how it's set up, and how it can ultimately change the user experience for a new member um, and make it so much better, so much easier and simpler to uh, get into a server. So check that out. But uh, here we are. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, go up here and right click on our server icon, go down to server settings, and you'll notice that there's a brand new feature called onboarding. Now, this is not going to be available on your Discord server unless you make your Discord server a community Discord server. So if you're not a community Discord server yet or you're not sure, make sure you go into your settings and check out the community settings and get it set up so that you can have access to this new feature. Once I click on onboarding, it's going to take us over to the uh, kind of the intro page for this, uh, this new feature. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that I've enabled onboarding. And there's uh, default channels and there's questions. Now, this is a two part um, basically setup. It's super simple. First thing you're going to do is come over here to default channels and uh, it's going to ask you to select the base channels that every single new member is going to see when they join your Discord server. Now, this is a lot like reaction rules in the sense that when you when a, a person first comes into your server, uh, you have them react to certain, you know, emojis so that they can gain roles to have access to different you know, channels, but you always have a few channels that somebody can see that kind of direct them where to go. Well, in this case, they're going to set this up for you. And so you go through and you select from this, uh, these check boxes right here, you select which channels you want somebody to see automatically. And every single channel you select, like if I select stream highlights, it's going to put it over here, right? Uh, so you select the ones you want. They recommend that you have at least, uh, at least seven channels that you include. So that when somebody first comes into your server and they go through the onboarding process, if they don't have any roles whatsoever, this is what they're going to have access to. Um, and then the second thing they recommend or the, is actually kind of a requirement is that you have to include at least five channels where the at everyone role can read and send messages. This means you're going to probably have to overhaul your permissions just a little bit. I know I did because the way I had it set up is that nobody in the server with the at everyone role only would be able to see anything. They had to go and do our reaction roles. Uh, so the only thing they could see was like our rules channel and stuff like that. Well, now because of the onboarding process, but also because of, you know, the fact that you have built in rule screenings in discord and things like that, uh, you can do the at everyone role 
you know, for some of your basic channels. So in, in our case, uh, you know, somebody that comes in and goes through the whole setup process and agrees to the rules, they're going to have access to like our general chat suggestions, you know, free stuff, marketplace, emotes only stuff like that. Right. And then if they want access to the rest of these, they're going to actually have to go through this, this onboarding process to see those. So uh, we went ahead and set this up. You go through, you know, get it set the way you like it. And once you're done here and you've got at least seven channels selected and five of those are ones that at everyone can read and send messages in, they have to have both permissions. Once that's both set up, uh, then, or once those are both set up, you can go back here and the next part is the question uh, situation that they got going on. And so what you're going to do is hit edit. And this is where the role reactions are going to take place. Instead of somebody going to, you know, uh, previously before now, uh, what people would do in our server is they would go over here to our welcome and rules section. They'd have to read through the rules. And then if they wanted to gain the flock member role, they would click the little green check mark. It would award them the flock member role. And then they would unlock more channels over here. The problem with this is, uh, you know, there were, it wasn't the most intuitive people had problems. Sometimes they couldn't click this little check mark for some reason. Sometimes they just didn't read everything. And so we would get lots of messages saying like, Hey, I don't see anything in the server. You know, this is just not as intuitive. Um, and also setting up this role reaction using YAG PDB or Dinobot, one of these third party bots is, is also not crazy easy, especially for a new discord, you know, admin or, or somebody who's trying to learn the process. It takes a little bit of setup and trial and error. It's not crazy hard, but uh, that's why those videos are so popular that I made, right? This whole new process is replacing this. So you can still have your rules posted, but people don't need to click this anymore. If somebody clicks on this, it doesn't do anything. It's just, it's just them reacting to the rules with a little check mark, you know, just saying, Hey, I was here uh, beforehand. It was our reaction role, but now we go back over to onboarding. And you'll notice that they have these questions. And so what you do is you type out a question. And the first question that I recommend you guys check out is, uh, do you want to join this server? Or in our case, do you want to join the flock discord server? The reason why this is our first question is because we don't have multiple answers down here. We only have one, which is yes, right? Yes. I want to join. And we require everybody to select this question. If they do not, they will not have access to our discord server at all. They won't see any channels, none of the at everyone rules that, you know, that where they can read and send messages. None of that will show up because they have to agree to join the server first. But what this does is it causes each person that joins to have to read the question, select the answer, and then hit go to the next set of questions. Uh, and it's kind of like a verification role in a lot of ways. And so what you do is you select or you type out your question and then you, on your first answer, you hit add answer. And right here, you'll type in the answer, maybe a little description for the answer. And then it allows you to assign channels or roles to them answering this question. So if you set it up with only one answer like we've done and require people to do that one, then what you can do is you can basically say, hey, I'll unlock, you know, or assign these channels or roles to you if you agree to this question. And then down here, you'll notice we actually have a role that people will gain from agreeing to join the flock discord, which is they become a flock member. Okay. This is a role we've set up. Uh, you can click on roles and you can select multiple roles. If you want it to assign multiple roles, um, you know, if we want it to also give them the, uh, you know, the Twitch streamer role or something like that, they can get multiple ones just by clicking that. But the point is, uh, this gives you the flexibility to determine what happens when someone answers your question, right? It's a very, this is a verification way to use this, this new feature. Now you can also select an emote down here, an emoji from your server that you want to use. And then once you hit save, it is going to, uh, put the question and the answer right here. It's required. Uh, we don't have any other answers. We're good to go on question number one. I've also seen some other servers say, are you a human? And then the answer is yes, I'm human. And that's just the way that they verify, right? They verify that, Hey, this is a real person sitting on the other end of this computer. Um, now, once you've done that, we also set up a question, for instance, if you're a streamer, what kind of platform do you stream on? And this is a multiple choice, uh, answer potential, right? Cause people can stream on multiple platforms and we've gone through and we've set up each thing to give a specific role. So if you're a Twitch streamer, then you collect, you select this, uh, this answer and it's going to give you the Twitch streamer role. Same thing with YouTube and Facebook. And we've allowed multiple answers, but we do not require this one. So people can skip this if they're not a streamer. Lastly on ours, we've set up our notification bell. Now this was all again in a, a separate channel 
that people would go into and they would have to click these various you know reaction rules throughout the the channel page and stuff like that this is now a way more professional way to do this if they would like to receive notifications on when i go live on twitch which this server was birthed out of me becoming a uh, a twitch streamer six years ago and and so you know i've got a notification squad and and these are people that literally just want to know when i go live so they can come by and hang out in the stream uh so we've got a, a notification bell here that will give people the noti squad role and uh they'll they'll get notified when i go live on twitch or when i update my schedule or things like that if i don't want to you know if i don't want to select at everyone and, and tag everybody because i'm changing my stream schedule that day or whatever this gives me the ability to talk to people who do care about that information right um so that's how we've set up our three initial uh discord reaction role uh you know questions they also and these are all these are all pre-joined questions this is something i want to mention these are all questions that are going to be asked before somebody actually can join your server right they have the ability down here for you to have post join questions as well so if somebody jumps into your server they go through this they're now a part of your server you can also have a post join notif or a post join question list that pops up where they can go through and further select you know what are your interests uh you know and you can assign rules based on their interests what are your uh you know or or even channels for that matter if i wanted to i could go in here and, and say you know what are your interests and then for my answer i could type out technology and i could assign them the uh tech talk channel if i wanted to right and so this could be turned off for the flock members but it could be turned on for people who come and answer this question afterwards uh which is a really cool really cool feature uh, but once you get your questions and answers all set up, I'm going to show you a preview of what it looks like when somebody first joins a Discord server with this active. If I hit on preview right here, this is going to be the first thing that people see when they hit uh, your server invite. If they go to your your either your URL or they have an invite link from somebody, if they're brand new, the first thing that's going to pop up is that first question that we did. And in our case, we have one answer. It's required. You cannot skip it. It says this is a required question. So they can't see any of our server channels. They can't see any of our members. They have to read the question and select, yes, I want to join the flock. Now I can see that 12,000 people have done the same thing and uh, they have the flock member role as well as they get added to nine different channel categories, right? And so then they can hit next and they can either skip this question because it's not required or they can select what they stream on. We're a Twitch streamer, so there we go. Um, and it also tells us how many people are also Twitch streamers in the community. And we hit next. And we want to know all the updates. We want to join the Noti squad. So we hit that. Good to go there. And once we're done, we can hit finish. Once we hit finish, now we have been given the flock member role. And we've got all of these channels unlocked that we can now enjoy. And again, you can make this more robust. So if you don't want them to have all these channels, like for instance, gaming, not everybody that joins might they might not be a gamer right so i can literally ask a question what are your interests and i can then put on their tech you know food uh photos art music you know gaming and then they can select what they're interested in and it will only show them the channels they're interested in now there's one other amazing cool new feature that comes with this when you set this all up if i scroll up here to the top you'll notice that there's a brand new channel that pops up at the top of this list called channels and roles if i click on this there's two things you can do. One, you can customize your selections from all these questions. So somebody can come in here and if they want to change their answer, like let's say that they're a Twitch streamer initially, but then they start, you know, multi-streaming on YouTube and Facebook. They can simply come in here and self-assign YouTube and Facebook to their account, just like reaction rules, but they can just go change their answers. If they, let's say that they selected uh, YouTube, but now they're on Twitch, right? They can select Twitch and get rid of YouTube and it's going to change all of those roles as necessary uh this role if you'll notice it's required if i try to unselect it i can't because it is a required rule so i have this one's always going to be on they have to have this one selected to be a part of the server right uh with the notification squad same thing if let's say i forgot to hit it or i didn't hit it at first but i find out hey you know what i want i want to be notified boom I can come assign myself that role and I'm good to go. So you can customize all of your answers after the fact. There's a way to come do that. And then also they've added this new browse channel feature. And if I click on this, it allows me to actually select and customize exactly what I want to see when I join this Discord server or any server that has this set up. So for instance, let's say I go down here and I decide, you know what, I really don't care about the... Uh, the emotes only channel. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know who wouldn't want to just post emotes only in a channel. We love doing it in our server, but 
uh, let's say that somebody is just like, nah, I don't want emotes, right? Then they can come over here, they can unfollow this category, and then they can unselect, and I'm going to go down here on this left-hand side and show you. Here's the uh, the emotes only. Where is it? Right there. Emotes only is right there. If I unselect this, it takes it off of my list. So now with this new onboarding feature, not only can people go through all the questions and get set up with what they can see, but they can later go in and adjust specific channels or categories that they don't want to see. So let's say they got assigned a role, like in our case, everybody gets the flock member role, which has this unlocked let's say they don't want to see it they can just unselect it and it's gone and you can shorten if i if i only want to see the general channel i can unselect everything and only keep track of the general channel right or if i only care about gaming you know you can you can customize the way the flock server looks for you based on this new feature and this can be done on any discord server that uses this onboarding feature so uh this is fantastic i absolutely love this uh, i'm gonna go ahead and hit follow follow category so we can get all those selected again uh, but this is completely customizable and an awesome new feature that they've added in addition to the onboarding. So I wanted to show you guys that, but once you get it all set up and you're good to go, uh, make sure you preview it to make sure that it all works right and that the right you know channels and right uh, roles are assigned and whatnot. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. It's super simple and super easy. So there you have it, the brand new Discord onboarding feature. It replaces reaction roles and it is way cleaner in my opinion than reaction roles were. I don't even know if there's a reason why you would use reaction roles at this point because this basically takes care of all the reasons why they would be there. Um, you know, there might be some very, very specific use case and if you know of one or you're gonna still use reaction roles over this feature or in conjunction with this feature, let me know in the comments. I would love to know how you guys are gonna use this feature. I replaced all of our reaction roles. We didn't have a lot initially, but now it's got the, you know, kind of the gear spinning in my head of like, what else could we do, right? There's a lot of stuff we could do with this new feature. So I encourage you guys to check it out. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me to help this video get out to more people, as well as the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to know when videos like this go live. In addition to that, I am a streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So swing on by and ha hang out with us anytime. I would love to see you in the chat. And if you have questions about Discord, you can come ask me over there because a lot of times that's the easiest place to do so. But also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section of this video because I do try to get back with as many people as I possibly can. If you'd like to join our Discord server, like I said earlier, discord.gg slash flock. There's an invite for you. Come on by. We'd love to have you in there and check out the onboarding feature in action. Let me know what you think about it once you actually get into the server. And lastly, I am on all the social media platforms, Twitter being my primary place I hang out on social media. So hit me up on there, tweet at me. I'll tweet you back. Um, I have links for everything down in the description of this video. So if you're interested in any of that stuff we talked about or our sponsor, place it net then uh, you can find those links as well as that 15% off discount code in the uh, description of this video but with that being said thank you so much for watching this video until the next video rock on peace out god bless and last but not least there we go This is how we win these, baby! You can't hold us! Let's go! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! We were down! 2-0! Oh! And we got another cross arena great axes drop. Let's go! I'll take that! High fives out to the flock, man! Let's go, dude!